Welcome back to another VFX tutorial and this one is a really special one. This is how to improve your graphics in your video game and how to recreate this gorgeous 2D game effect without the shader the easy way possible. What am I talking about? Well, the bloom effect. This you have seen in lots of games, for example Clash of Clans, everything appears to be like this a silky smoothness there seems to be like a glow on everything where there shouldn't be actually a glow because there actually is none this is the bloom effect so for example you're having this flat sprite so this thingy here and then bam you have this glow about it where actually there is no glow and this is in the end bloom so if you want to know how to well recreate it and put that into your game without the complicated shader stuff stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and office org so if you like what you're seeing consider subscribing sharing and liking and commenting that would be sweet so what is bloom in the end quite simple because you just take a original image then you blur that thing as you can see it's blurred then you overlay it bam give it a little bit less opacity and as you can see original image and then the pseudo glowing image and this is the bloom effect and it does some really beautiful things on your graphics and it enhances your game in my opinion quite significantly of course don't overdo it because then it appears a little bit too shiny but hey let's do that in game maker studio so for example here i having a tile set which is pretty good so i use it for my office org uh, overworld here but i want to pimp it up a little bit so let's do this so i'm just taking the original one then i blur it so here gaussian blur but before that maybe you're thinking okay the colors look a little bit flat what you can actually do before that just to pimp it up a little bit you can go under image adjustment hue and saturation and if you just put saturation up as you can see if you do that a little bit too much then the colors are quite popping but they're popping way too much this is not what we want but let's say we want to make it a little bit more interesting looking so let's go for i don't know 15 percent or something doesn't really matter as you can see old new and the new one definitely looks better already and what we can actually do is now go through the, our filter do the blur the gaussian blur and depending how much you actually want to blur don't blur it too much because well then it will spread too much so go with the values which make sense depending if you're pixel art then well, do that in very very small doses uh, for example here as you can see this is the new image looks quite blurry this is the old one we lowered which is the original one then we go for a blend mode so basically this is how you can actually overlay the first one with the second one and if, as you can see it is all glowing it looks good but let's go for less opacity because we don't want it to be glowing too much so let's go for something like this and well what you will now do is and see everything appears to be uh, like let's say smoother and more silky which is the bloom effect but maybe you're thinking like ah uh, but i don't want uh, all the colors and everything to be well this smooth and silky i don't i want it to be specifically only on the very very bright things because you want to highlight let's say lights or things which are shiny or which have a uh, well a very bright color so what you can do and this is a a little tip here you go under adjustments levels and here we go to a very small a big high value as you can see almost everything is going to get black of course you can separate it in different channels but let's go for all so rgb as you can see only a few things uh, will stick around some guys have sorted in tutorials even go to 250 so 255 is actually the maximum here but let's go for a very high value uh, well mark all those black areas and they are gone so let's go and as you can see not much left then go for 
the filter, Gaussian blur once again, bam. And what we can do is do with the screen. So this is basically just the blend mode. As you can see, it only um, brightens up those very, very light colors. So for example, on the snow, it appears to be hard glowing, but let's say on those darker flat colors, almost change nothing. As you can see, nothing changes here. But let's say on the, or here on this area, it is just marginal, but as you can see, these areas are glowing a little bit. So hopefully that was of interest to you. Now you understand what Bloom actually is. And normally people would do that with a shader because this is more convenient. But of course it is definitely harder to understand. But this is, if you want to do this in your game, a quick fix. So for example, I did this and bam. Not too bad in my opinion. It looks definitely neater than before. But if you, for example, like the hard look of the old school pixel art, well, then this is of course up to you. So have a good one. One up indie.